Hey guys, it's Artsy Crafty Yama, and I just realized it's been three months since I posted, and I am so sorry. This semester has been crazy because I've been taking two um, graphic design classes, which means double the projects. Yeah, it's been crazy. And also, I've been focusing on my studies, trying to like, keep my scholarship. Don't want to lose my scholarship because that would suck. So that's why I've been posting. So today, I'm going to show you what's in my bullet journal. This has been the trend, like, all over Pinterest, and I'm like, I gotta get one. So for Christmas, I got this yellow bullet journal from Amazon, and it's super cheap. Like, I use stencils, which you need to get stencils, because it's so much easier to, like, make banners and all that stuff. And you also need, like, marker pens, stickers, all that, but I got everything for, like, $20 on Amazon, so... It's not that pricey, but it's so much fun. Most of these ideas from Pinterest, not most. I got some of these ideas from Pinterest, and most of these ideas I came up by myself. Um, this took me a very long time to do. It's not finished, so I'm only gonna show you January through June. Right, so we'll just get to the video, and I hope you like it. So let's get started. So I decorated my bullet journal using washi tape. I got 40 rolls on Amazon for about like $8, which is a steal, so Amazon is key when it comes to bullet journal. Okay, so this is what you see when you first open my journal up. Make it simple and pretty. Okay, it is very important you have a key, so you know like what you're highlighting in your calendar. Like I practice still. Yeah, I haven't retired gymnastics yet, I know. So I put practice on here, work, school break, which we don't have a lot of those. And you know, stuff like that. And New Year's resolutions. For Christmas, I got stickers from my Nana and Papa, so they're like holiday stickers, so I would definitely look into that, like go to Joanne Fabrics and look for stickers, because they make it a lot easier to decorate. And this is my mood tracker, and I always keep like a nice quote to like fill up space. And savings jar, all the money you've been saving up over the year. And my goal was $3,000, so every time I would get to like $100, I would highlight a line. And my goal by the end of the year is to make this jar yellow. So this is a great motivator for you to, you know, save money. This is my birthday tracker. Also, to make these banners, I, I use the stencils, and for my movies thing, I used stencils as well. Yeah, stencils are a bare necessity when it comes to bullet journaling. And my birthday side I use stickers and balloons I wrote down people's birthdays in each balloon and like I just wrote down movies I saw so I remember oh this is like popular back in the day it is very important to keep this for the rest of your life because you can always look back on it it's just really cool to look on in the future so here's my year at a glance um page which took forever so like for each month I highlighted stuff like birthdays and school breaks holidays and it's just really nice. You don't need to buy a calendar because this is all you need. Okay, so this is my January cover. Got this idea from Pinterest. So I like to work out and if you are planning on losing weight or you just want to get active, this is a great way to motivate yourself by having a workout tracker. So this is my goals and accomplishment page. So this has my goals and my accomplishments. So you can look back and be like, yo, I did this. And this is my mood tracker. So this is my weekly log, which is very important because you need to write out all your stuff. Yeah. I use stencils for the um, grids too. This is just a little bit of inspiration. I also did, I drew these by hand. I did a lot of this by hand, like this is stencil. And here's a stress tracker. Okay, so here's like spending trackers for January and memories. You'll want to have memories too, because that's always important. So here's February. Okay, so here's a cool story. So my great great grandma, she had a journal from like 1890s that she kept and wrote in every day. It's not a bullet journal, but like a diary. And it's very important that you keep these things because your great-grandchildren can keep it forever. It, it could just be passed down like throughout the family and I would highly recommend this journal and keeping it because it's something sentimental to everybody. And make it, make it the way you want it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not perfect. 
but like it doesn't have to be like pizzazzy as mine. It could be as simple as you want it. I just like to, you know, spice it up because I am artsy crafty Emma and I like to make everything look artsy. Okay, so I had a one I did last thing so I can keep track of everything. Yeah. This is definitely important too. Here's March. This is a hand, I drew this by hand. I drew all these by hand. And I use washi tape too. And always keep a calendar by your cover thing so you can just look back and see what you have going on. So I got these um, cactus stickers from Target for $2. They come in like 15 sheets for $2, so get those. Yeah, here's my weekly spread. April. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. And don't be afraid to change up your color scheme, you know? Use those highlighters, make it all nice and pretty. I love this, I love this spread so much. Here's a stress tracker. I didn't do a stress tracker for every page because I wanna be able to fit my whole year into one book. So I just did it when I had like five week months. Also, I got this sticker from Amazon too. Okay, this is my absolute favorite cover page ever. So this is from one of my pieces I made like back in October. I drew these um, flowers by hand and it's just a beautiful, beautiful drawing. I love it so much. It just is really inviting. Oh yeah, also with washi tape. If you mess up, like I spelled accomplishments wrong, so I'm like, crap, what do I do? I put washi tape over it and it, plus it covers up your mistakes and it looks really cute. So if you mess up, don't worry about it. Get some washi tape and you'll figure it out. Mood tracker. Here's my weekly spread. I love the colors on here. I love rose and pink. Here's the blue one. Spending tracker, memories. Here's June, which is the last month I'm going to show you in this video. I'll show you the rest of my months in another video to, because like it's going to take forever to do this. So there's June. Yeah. I drew this pineapple in this flip flop. Yeah. So don't be afraid to draw and express yourself, really. Here's my weekly spread. Here's your spending. And okay. Guys, if you want some inspiration for memories, draw a Polaroid camera, draw the film, and write memories in it. I am in love with this memory page. So, if you like aesthetic cameras and all that stuff, perfect idea. And that's all. Okay guys, I hope you liked the video, and I hope I have, like, inspired you in some way with my creativity, I guess. <laughs> so I hope you like it. And um, I will continue the rest of the year in a separate video. Let's hope it doesn't take me three months to post. I am so sorry. Plus I run out of ideas really quickly. So that won't happen again. Um, yeah, so please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day. Bye.